بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ومن تبع بإحسان إلى يوم الدين. I send first and foremost I thank and I praise Allah for all of the things that He has done for me, and I send peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad. and his companions and whoever follows them in goodness until the day of judgment. Hi, my name is Marlon or Isa al Jamaiki. Tonight I'll be speaking about five points regarding the belief of the Muslims. The first point is what does Islam mean? The second is what's meant by Muslim. The third, what does the word Allah means. The fourth, what are the pillars of Islam. The fifth, what are the pillars of Ihsan. Now bear with me a bit. I won't take much of your time. Okay, let's go. Islam is derived from the word salam. Now in an English linguistics it would mean peace, surrendering, submittance, and giving up oneself. Now in an religious aspect it means someone that adheres and submits him or herself to the will of the Creator, meaning he does whatever the killer Creator wants freely, without any fear. The person that does this is called a Muslim. So we can say that the sun is a Muslim, we can say that the moon is a Muslim, we can say that the plants are Muslims. Why? they are in complete submission to the Creator. Now, let's move on to the word Allah. Islamic scholars say that Allah comes from the two words Al-Ilah, or the two articles Al-Ilah, a word article and a word, which means the God. Allah is the Creator. Allah is just one of his names. He has other names. Just as how the last prophet has revealed through the Sunnah. Now let's move on to the fourth topic of the day. Which is the pillars of Islam. Islam has five pillars. The first one is Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu an Muhammadar Rasulullah. This is to testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah, and that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his prophet. Now the second pillar is prayer. A Muslim has to perform five prayers throughout the day. at different times, of course. The third pillar is charity. Charity is a compulsory sum of money that a person pays once a year according to his capability. The fourth is fasting. Muslims has to perform fasting through the 11th month of Ramadan. Fasting is when one keeps away from or abstain from eating, drinking, having a sexual relationship with his spouse from sunrise until sunset. And the fourth pillar, the fifth pillar is pilgrimage. Pilgrimage is an action or a series of worship, actions of worship that one performs in Mecca at a certain time of the year. 
Now, we have just completed the five pillars of Islam. Now, let's go to the six pillars of Ihsan. Now, it's up on the Muslims or it's up on the Muslim that want to achieve or ascribe or push his level to a higher degree to believe in these four, the six pillars of Al-Ihsan. The first one is to believe that Allah is one. He has no partners. The second is to believe in the angels. To believe in Jibreel, to believe in Jibra'il or Mikael, to believe in all the angels that they exist and they are created by Allah for specific reasons. Now the third pillar of Al-Ihsan is believing in all the prophets. It's up on the Muslim to believe in all the prophets starting from Adam, peace be upon him, and peace be upon all the prophets through to the last series which are prophet Moses then Jesus then the last prophet who is prophet Muhammad may peace and blessings be upon all the prophets the fourth pillar is believing in the revelations of Allah the Creator believing that the Creator has sent books before to mankind why did the Creator send books or revelations? To guide mankind throughout their life living in order to worship the Creator better and better on a daily basis. The fifth pillar is believing in the last day and that there is a res resurrection to come. Believing that we are going to stand in front of the Creator on the day of judgment to be reckon for our good and bad deeds and the sixth is believing in predestination predestination is when one believes that everything that happens on this earth or wherever within the creation is the way that the Creator wants it to be now I hope that all that I have just said is clear and please tune in for our next sitting where I will speak more about understandings regarding the Islamic belief and more. Thank you. Mm -hmm.